Hi everyone. In today's video, I want to talk about the different uh, printing bed type and the benefit for each one of them and which type of print fit best on which bed. Uh, I do have here all three. This is the original Ender 3. This is the one that kind of have some texture. Uh, you can bend it. Um, this is the default one. Here I have the glass bed. Uh, this is the tempered glass bed. There is the kind of regular glass where you have to use the glue. I don't like that one really. Uh, this is the tempered glass, which is not bad so far. Uh, this is the PEI, uh, which is kind of some sort of aluminum or uh, some metal that is coated with this PEI plastic, basically. It's very durable plastic. So, so far, uh, this one has been very good. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with this one. It's uh, very new, but uh, so far I like it. Uh, back to the original bed. So the benefit I usually get from this bed or why I like it the most is you can bend the bed. And it's perfect for anything with a flat profile. You see this, this gear here. And if I print this gear on the glass bed, it's going to be very hard to take it off after it's done. So anything with low profile and very large contact surface, I would like to print on the original bed. And the reason is after it's done, I can easily take it off by bending the bed. That's benefit I do not have on the glass bed. Another pro to this, I would say it's usually cheaper. So this is included. And if you buy a new one, it's kind of cheap. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or wherever you buy these. But usually the price is also another benefit. Uh, the downside to it, I would say it's very delicate and it can easily get damaged. Especially if the heated nozzle hits this bed, you can see the the damage is here uh, that's on the bed and the PLA kind of gets stuck to it. It's a little bit difficult to clean. So that's why, uh, you know, I moved on to the glass bed. But with the glass bed, the downside so far, it's been when I print something with a low profile, it's very hard to take it off. Uh, it's supposed to self-release. so. The way it should work, as the bed cools down, then it's supposed to kind of self-release the print. Usually works in most cases, except when you have something like that, like very flat and very large contact surface. So I would never print this on a glass bed. This would be a good fit for the glass bed. So you see something like that with... Uh, a little bit more high profile where you can have a grip on it and then also less contact surface. This would work perfect or better on the glass bed. So another downside to the glass bed, it can easily get scratched. So I made the mistake of setting up my nozzle too close and it got the bed got scratched. That was my mistake. Uh, if you don't make that mistake, then you should be fine but that's one of the downside to the glass bed what i like about it is like the way the filament self-release and if you have the leveling uh, dialed in correctly then you should have no problem uh, taking the filament out you don't even need to remove the bed and you can just pull the filament off the bed with no problem uh, another thing is like these clips these are the original clips the one that comes with the glass bed a little bit stronger, so those can usually damage the bed sometimes. I think you can see here, this is, this is from the clips. Um, hopefully this is visible enough. Uh, now that brings me to kind of this PI bed. So far, I feel this combine the two benefit in one. You still get the flexibility, you can still bend this, you also 
get the self-release. So this is supposed to also self-release uh, after it cools down. So you get the benefit of both in one. In addition, you don't need the clips anymore. Since this comes with another piece that's kind of a magnet sticker that you would put on the hot bed uh, metal. So you would remove everything, you stick that on the bed. I have another video showing you how to install this. Then this would just kind of a magnet uh, stick to the uh, hot uh, bed for your printer. And you don't have to, you know, do the clips or anything. Now, I usually uh, rotate these bed around depend on what I'm printing. This one is perfect for something that's more like delicate. And like these are, these would print perfectly on this bed because you still get the flexibility of bending and the self-release at once. Uh, something more like that with a little bit larger uh, contact area, I would not print on the glass bed. And so far, I think the, the PI wins. It is a little bit more pricey. Uh, however, I do have a link with a discount that will be in the description. So far, again, I would really get the PEI, uh, maybe the glass. I've been rotating between the three and depending on what I'm printing. Now, lucky for me that I have the CR Touch. And generally speaking, if you dial that in, you don't have to manually re-level every time you change the bed. So I can switch beds around. I actually have another video showing you how to do that. But if you have the CR Touch, you can change these beds around without having to Re, uh, worry about re-leveling manually every single time now there might still be small adjustments so like i i want to be clear here uh, that you might still have to kind of do the uh, auto leveling or like some man some small adjustments um, that said uh so far I'm, I'm loving the pei and then between the glass and the original i think they both have uh, cons and pros uh, i love the original uh it's 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 always good uh but the glass it's nice when when you have that kind of self-release uh that comes with it i hope this video is helpful i'll leave some links in the description to a couple of these and some discounts that i was able to get uh once again i'm not being paid or benefiting from you buying these i'm just trying to help my viewers uh, as, as a thank you for watching my videos i'm trying to negotiate some discount for you guys Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.